Contrasting fortunes for Reading and Stoke City in midweek, whilst the Royals were unlucky to lose at high-flying Leeds, Stoke picked up a significant win against Gary Rowett's old club, Derby County. Today, the pair face off at the Modeski Stadium with nine points separating them in the table, seemingly differing ambitions for the remainder of the campaign. Reading aiming to move away from trouble. The Potters looking to make up ground on the playoff pack. Ryan Woods. Allen looking to win it back. Here's Tom Ince, scorer of the winner against his old club in midweek. Good early possession here for Stoke. James McLean. Bit of space here, plenty of options forward too. Crosses deep toward Allen. Beautiful touch from Joe Allen. Decent cross too, and headed wide by a Fobe. McCleary. Butland casually able to get it away. Here's Cuco Martina. Ince. Stoke dictating the tempo in these early exchanges. And they find a goal to go with their dominance of possession. It's Martinez cross looking for a Fobe. And the rebound is blazed over the bar when it should have been put into the net. Sam Klukas with his head in his hands. Stoke could be a couple of goals up here. Reading hanging on for now. Ten points out of a possible 15 for the Royals. Here's Ince. Allen. Ince again. Can he get a shot away? Played it into Klukas instead and then back for Ince. Oh, that would have been a lovely goal. Everything but the finish, really. Allen. Got it taken off his toe. Reading threatened at the other end for the first time. Good hold-up play from John Swift. Make sure his team kept possession. Swift again. He's going to look to bend one. He wasn't very far wide. Bakuna. Twisting and turning, but into trouble. Woods has got it back for Stoke. Here's McLean. Does have support up there. McLean, was it a cross? Was it a shot? It's deflected behind for a corner. And card two for Bakuna. Going to work short for Reading. Swift's touch. Oh, it was a loose one. Chance of a break here for Stoke. It's Ince. Swift missed his tackle. Lucas charging through midfield. This is Joe Allen. Here's McLean. Can he get the shot away? Oh, he dragged it just wide. Wasn't a great angle. Well, Gary Rowett might feel that his team should be ahead here. And by far the better chances of the game so far. Better from Reading, though. Good period of possession. Is there any penetration to go with it? It's a lovely run. Needs a quality cross. Deflection on it. Good header. 1-0. Mark McNulty. Excellent play from Rinomota to set it up. And McNulty, against the run of play, gives Reading the lead three minutes before the break. Really well-crafted goal, that. And a powerful header. made to pay for those missed opportunities can they draw level before the break they have to hurry up if they want to do that McLean Allen is he on side no flag good block back with Allen again though and now McLean here's Joe Allen Allen bending one, really good ball, appeals for a penalty, nothing doing. OK, 
Gary Rowett, I'm sure, would have told his players that they did everything right other than converting those first half chances. They carry on playing like they are. You feel there's goals for them in the game. Maybe a second for Reading, though, would secure it. But here's a Fobate, one on one. Is this his moment? Yes, it is. Big goal for Benneke Fobate. His first since September. And after those first half misses, that will do him the world of good. It's taken just three minutes after the restart for Stoke City to draw level. And it's Benneke Fobe who's got the goal. Lovely through ball. He sprang the offside trap and was sure-footed with his finish. Reading will have to come again that they're capable of scoring Gareth McCleary good footwork has his cross and now then any sort of touch there and it would have been 2-1 Woods and working it back to Cuco Martina hints on the turn Chance for a shot from distance here. Oh, what an effort it was too from Eric Peters. Of head tennis in midfield. Drop for Allen. As ever, he's been the conductor in the heart of the Stoke midfield so far. Stoke in behind again here. Oh, and guided just wide. Or give it away cheaply, they could be in big trouble here. It's a Fobe, can he put it away? Deflected over the bar, off Tyler Blackett. Shade over 20 minutes left. Can either side find a winning goal? Stoke looking the more likely. McLean for Klukas. A bit too much on that for a Fobe. Did well to keep it in. Sent back in. And there's Ince! Oh, what a goal! Tom Ince with a splendid volley. Second in a few days for him. Well, if he enjoyed his goal against his old club in the week, that one will be even more satisfying because it's a terrific finish. And Stoke City have turned this game on its head. From a goal down, they lead by 2-1. to one. And this was special from Tom Ince. Stokes revival very much underway in the last few weeks. Been playing some really good stuff. Yes, they have a game today. Here's a Fobe. Third goal would surely kill it once and for all. Allen! Good save. Been unlucky today not to score, Joe Allen. He's had several chances. clearance high up into the evening sky headed forward by Allen Blackett responds in kind Reading keeping going clock is against them though good advantage played by the referee now chance here good save from Butland reacted really quickly the line from Cuco Martina Lawrence was more up than away like a nudge in the back from Allen <laughs> looked like there was one there after two from Sam Baldock but play goes on deep into stoppage time is there time for one more chance for Reading it's Barrow it's in They've snatched a point right at the end. The fourth minute of stoppage time is the time when Mo Barrow scores for the first time this season. And look what it means to the Reading players. A victory for persistence. They're going to take a point from this game now, surely. Barrow first time 
into the bottom corner. No chance for Butland. Frustration for Stoke. Delight for Reading. There's the final whistle. Reading, thanks to that late equaliser, claim a share of the points. Disappointment for Stoke, who played really well here today. But Mo Barrow's injury time leveller means it finishes at the Medeski Stadium. Reading 2, Stoke City 2.